think knowing the role of the office for your organization cannot be underestimated. And, and as we said before, you know, that's going to depend on the specifics of your value proposition, your customers, your team, your culture, and so on and so forth. I think, you know, yes, of course, start the whole, kickstart the whole process by asking some overarching questions, which, which can be um, determined by a survey, because that's a really quick and dirty way of getting to some top line insights. But start with or follow up with inclusive conversations that dig deeper and that embed a sense of belonging and inclusion and so on. Understand the locational preferences of your team. You know, where, where does, I don't know, Bob want to work for most of his working week and why? Um, and understand the extent to which everybody's preferences will be different and will be driven by all the variables going on in, in their personal lives. But actually, the real nub of this is, is finding the common ground. And you know, we've had a situation recently where we've been advising a client who did all of the groundwork and, um, and did all the survey and, and you know, embraced hybrid. But unfortunately, what happened for her and her organisation was that she didn't set the scene to begin with in terms of how important the continued role of the office was for her organization. And she's ended up with a couple of developers who said, well, we're never going back to the office because we don't need to. And actually, you know, setting your stall out in the boardroom in, you know, it, as an aligned um, message from the leadership team, that is paramount because if you don't do that at the start, that's where you will start to find dissent and resistance from, from people who think they know best. You know, getting to an optimal hybrid arrangement requires all parties to understand the role of the office in the pandemic and post-pandemic world and to, to acknowledge the value of both working from home, working remotely, and the value of coming together in a shared space and having some open conversations about that. And, and, and that's not just a once done process that's a continuous process so that both um, scenarios are continuously um, appraised and valued and so on so to wrap up um, there was a lovely quote that came from McKinsey earlier in the year apropos of hybrid work work excuse me and they wrote the finish line is a mirage and I think that's a really really interesting point because this isn't this isn't a once done and anybody who's trying to get to the end line and it's done and it's completed I think is misguided because the pandemic has amplified and accelerated a whole bunch of trends that are going to transform how we work in the future. So this is just the starting point, if you will. And I think if you can lay the foundation blocks now for open, inclusive, continuous conversation, tweak and adapt, tweak and adapt, that is going to enable organisational agility moving forward and absolutely underpin organizational resilience over over the longer term and through pretty uncharted and turbulent commercial landscapes moving forward so we would say hybrid here to say it does mean career customization it does require new leadership and management mindsets and indeed new operating models again that's a whole other webinar i should imagine and bluntly, if we don't adopt hybrid working, we are going to accelerate the, the risk of talent attrition within our businesses. And we're going to limit our access to the full 
labour market. 